Came together. Uh, it is four and nine. And Frank, would you do the first? Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day and for bringing us here together to uh, work for the Cherokee people. I ask that you guide the discussions and the decisions that are made. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <coughs> Shall we do the roll call, please? Curtis Snell. There. Frankie Hardis. Present. Bill Anklin. Here. Jack Baker. Here. Joe Bird. Honey. Julia Coates. Here. Judy Kishinhoff. Brad Fraley. Here. Janelle Fulbright here, Don Garvin, Chuck Hoskin Jr. Here, Tana Gordon, Lee Keener, Present. 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 Have a discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion signed. Motion carries. Moving on down to reports. Um, management resources. Uh, Pat Wynn. Thank you. Mr. Davis is out today with an unscheduled medical issue. It's, it's not serious, but he's not able to be here. So uh, I'm here, and uh, we have uh, environmental planning and development and real estate services, too. So. You have our reports in front of you, and if you have any questions, I will uh, attempt to answer them or at least uh, uh, get you an answer as soon as I can get back to the office. Councilman Walker State. Mr. Moore, what's the latest on the, uh, the yeah, the Veterans Center? The uh, roof again right now. Um, panel should start this week. They're already rolling. Hey, would you come up? Oh. We hear you. <laughs> <coughs> they started rolling, they rolled the panels, I think, last week, so they'll start installing them this week. Uh, we're just we're at waiting for a room to be appropriated so we can finish up. So we're ready to start bidding it out. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Any yeah. questions from Pat? Well, thanks, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, what time? Where's this uh, Jordan Cemetery that's cleared land for? Jordan Cemetery is in Delaware County. That's an existing cemetery? It's an existing cemetery, and they had ran out of uh, internment space. They had a small area right next to there, and we just put it off. There. Okay. It's not a patented cemetery. Do we have any more questions for Pat? Yes, Judy. Well, I said this to him privately, but I want to publicly thank Pat also personally for coming out and uh, taking a group of about 19 or 20 of us through uh, the ethnobotany tour at Rocky Ford. Uh, the group very, very much enjoyed that and uh, talked about it a great deal. And Pat and Mark both did a great job. With and we had great things. weather. We had great weather. <laughs> Comparatively speaking, yes. what had happened. We had a little, <laughs> little cloudiness and a nice breeze. and. Everybody survived it and came back tick free, and all was good. So, <laughs> thank you. No, it was my pleasure. <clears throat> Any more questions? Thank you, Pat. Moving on down to real estate services, Erica Hart. Eric is out of town with the uh, auto problems, and I think you have your her report. If there's any questions, I'll see if I can help. Or maybe get some answers. Do we have any questions for the real estate services? This time. Yeah, I didn't get your name for the minute, <coughs> Marcia Holterman. Any questions for Marcia? Okay, 
get you no better, so thank you, ma'am. <laughs> thank you. Moving on down to environmental programs, Tom Elkins. Good afternoon. We have our report. Um, just a little bit on the side that uh, we we're about three fourths through the year, and for the most part, we're on track with most of the goals that we've set. Um, we'd be happy to take input on any of the goals that you would like to see, but uh, that's about what we're doing every year. Um, we do a little bit more, a little bit less, just depending on what the because our our work is almost totally based on other programs, uh, either asking for these tests or uh, something else. I generally don't put this in the in the uh, reports, but now and again we get requests from, uh, like now we've got a request uh, from Hastings Hospital to do some uh, uh, air sampling monitoring. They, I've had this done a sleep study and they, they, they use a certain compound to adhere these leads to your head and they have to have a, a time weighted average and a permissible exposure limit for some of these chemicals and so we're setting up pumps and uh, trying to do that for them so they can be sure that they're meeting those standards. But I mean, we do things like that from time to time, but this is the meat of our work generally. So if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Any questions for Tom? Yes, Kara. Thank you. The, the watercress sampling report was over there. So what are we doing on watercress sampling? And that's not through is it not an environmental sampling or watercress? Actually what it was, it was just that this was something we've been wanting to do for a couple of years. Okay. And a citizens group came in and they asked a question that uh, they said, is it safe to eat watercress out of a creek? And uh, like heavy metal uptake or? I think they were more concerned about the, uh, the bacterial okay. issue involved in it. And, that's and we sampled it, and of course, with anything you pull out of a stream, probably in the United States, wide, it has a certain bacterial load on it. You reduce that bacterial load by about tenfold by 30 seconds of rinsing under tap water, uh, which, by the way, is the exact same results you would get with vegetables you buy but would buy in a store. Bottom line is, is that if you eat raw spinach out of a store, you do take a certain risk that it has a bacterial load on it. The exact same thing with watercress. Uh, next year, uh, we plan on doing a little more timely study during the time when watercress was actually picked because this year we did it a little late. But it was a citizens group that came in and just wanted it. And uh, I spoke with, uh, we shared the results with Tom and Environmental Health, and we're going to work on a project next year, do a little bit more sampling, and maybe get the PSA out. In, and I don't know what this would look like, but do we have maybe even a literature review of whether or not there's heavy metal uptake by any of our traditional plants that we would even need to do testing in that area? I'm glad we've done anything on that so far, but I mean, we could. I mean, even if to, to, to <coughs> understand if we need to justify mm -hmm. the cost of, do we know if any of our traditional plants might potentially be heavy metal uptake? What I found is there is a huge, well, actually maybe just, there is a, a void in the regulations for raw food consumption. There is very little testing of raw foods in the United States. And of course you hear once every, generally every year you hear, you know, a spinach issue with E. coli. Uh, there was a, what was it last year? I think it was cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. So uh, every year you hear and, uh, you know, the chances are very low, but the chances are not zero. So. And, and, and I don't know that I want to regulate that. I think that's their right. But it would also be our priority as a government to make sure and exercise some idea of safety as far as our natural resources. So I hope we don't try to regulate like Yeah, you know, we're, yeah, yeah, we're certainly, but, certainly not going to do that. So, but, uh, okay. but, but Tom's program has offered us some, some more money to uh, maybe do a little wider range of sampling. And uh, I would think that a complete digestion on those for, you know, just a few, uh, you know, mercury and maybe chromium would be fairly simple. And then are we going to then alert and publish findings or suggested, you know, treatments or something so that we make sure people are aware they can't go and just... I think that kind of goes along with our fish tissue data. Mm -hmm. 
we have data that says that a certain area at one time there's fish and <coughs> mercury in this fish tissue. That doesn't mean it's in every species. It doesn't mean that it's in every size of fish. And, and even though we may suspect that, I don't want to say that without data that proves it. We can't have potential consumption warnings. Sure we can. <laughs> sure we can. Potential. But there has been some discussion about putting out uh, actual warnings about that. And although I think a lot of us feel that there should be, unless we have the money and the data to do those, I don't feel we can. Okay. I'd like to hear and have more discussion. <coughs> sure. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any more questions from Tom? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Evans. <coughs> Moving on down to the old business. Here, we'll get the uh, gathering rights. I, I believe that we'll table that for another month or where are we at with it? Well, deferred to Councilman Keener. Mr. Chair, if we could uh, get, get Pat up here uh, and uh, discuss that. I yeah, you do have a. Uh, for lack of a better term, a white paper in front of you, uh, a discussion paper. And I would like for you to look at that. Uh, on the very back page of that, there is a set of, uh, I don't want to use the term uh, recommendations, but it is a, it is a possible strategy. Uh, you have a list of all of the, uh, the laws, policies, and procedures that, uh, that we, have, we currently have in place. Uh, I would, and I'm, and I'm not, obviously not asking for you to review it now and, and, and make your recommendations, but I would like for you to take a look at the policy paper and see if you think that, uh, that most of the, uh, the policy regulatory voids are, are contained therein. Uh, you know, the bottom line is a policy that we develop here in, on, on the tribal trust area really can't impact populations of 14 countywide because our subset of, of habitat is just is fractional compared to the overall the overall whole uh, what we can do is we can target certain uh, species for protection where warranted and uh, and and in your document there there are two species that are currently going through that policy process uh, um, uh, a citizen group brought uh, river cane as a possible species war warranting protection to uh, Tom Elkins' mm -hmm. Environmental Protection Commission. Uh, I believe that was last month. Uh, as per the policy, Natural Resources drafted a biological opinion, and uh, based upon what the Attorney General's Office reviews, that may, those findings may be uh, given at the next Environmental Protection Commission meeting. There's another citizens group that is, uh, is currently uh, thinking through another species to put on there. But uh, we do have a number of things that are currently in place, uh, and as far as outright uh, regulation, I think that it, I think that this body and the administration should look at uh, another method of, of of at least management through the IRMP, the Integrated Resources Management Plan. So, uh, I said, I'll leave this document in front of you. I, I, I apologize you didn't get it earlier. Uh, I thought you'd gotten a couple weeks ago. So uh, everyone has my email. I'm on the list. So if you have any questions, I can, uh, I can get you all the documents listed here, and, and we can go from there. That's great. Thank you, Mr. Chair. You said there was two River Cane. And uh, well, River Cane has, has already been petitioned and is undergoing. Uh, uh, and the other is uh, the Ozark Chinkapin. But uh, that hasn't been officially submitted for protection yet. This was going to be, uh, just for a discussion, it was going to be limited to trust land only. That's my understanding. Right. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Motion to table. Okay, motion to table. Second. Second here. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Motion carries. <clears throat> Moving on down to uh, next item, PM 203. Councilman Garvin? Yes. <clears throat> I think we're making progress on this uh, veterans building, but still got a long ways to go. So 
Uh, we do have some new money coming in, and uh, but I'm going to make a motion we table this until next month. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor, table this motion. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Table for next month. Moving on down to uh, new business. Item number 12 088, Meredith Fraley. Would you take that, please? That's you. That's your age. No, it's not. <laughs> I've had a request from some members of the Blue Indian Baptist Church for office equipment. Um, that's a very old church, and um, they're in dire need of office equipment. They have a new pastor, and he, I'm sure he would appreciate a chair and a, to sit on and a desk to write on. So, <laughs> Mr. Chair, I would move that we approve this, and if possible, uh, let there be no objection to move it on to uh, council tonight. Second. Second. Motion second. We have any discussion on this? Mr. Yes, sir. Um, I appreciate Meredith doing this. I wonder if I could be added as a co sponsor. It sounds wonderful. Well, yes. Well, <laughs> I had a response to a sponsor. Anybody that don't want to be a sponsor? It's all about sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll vote on this then, I suppose we do. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? The cost. No question here. Let's back this up. Yeah. We're good. This is no, a piece for information. Well, the, the cost, we have, we, just for the sake of the records, every time we've gone, we've had surplus, just the cost. Yes. This came from our governmental research, uh, uh, research <laughs> resource warehouse. And it's gone through the proper process to um, uh, to get us to where we are now. Good. Okay, we're motion carried. Uh, motion carried. Do we vote? Yeah, uh, motion carried. So you're in good shape. We're moving on down to uh, twelve dash zero nine two. Joey Fishing Hall. Frank Harris, you take this. Um, this is a res resolution authorizing the don donation of surplus office equipment or office furniture to the Stowell Police Department. They built a new um, building and are needing some extra furniture. And I make a motion that we uh, donate this equipment and that we move this to council tonight. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Yes. What are we donating? What are we donating? Uh, well, it's desk and tables and uh, file cabinets. And uh, leads. Chairs. Okay, thank you. We That's didn't get a price on We did not get a price on it. It all came from the warehouse. It was all surplus. Must be added. Sponsor, please. Yeah, sponsors of the club. Yep. Everybody. Anybody don't want to be out of sponsor? Yeah. <laughs> you have a question. Yeah. 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 Mayor, did you have a question? No, just, just a comment. Look at all the items Miss Harvest had to have for a police department versus only four for a church. <laughs> Well, she got more. We have more criminals than you have church members. Enough <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's all I've got to say. <laughs> okay, let's vote on this. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <laughs> Are there any announcements? The next meeting will be Monday, August 13th at 4 o'clock. Thank you. Next motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Can I hear your...